all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for always supporting me i appreciate much god bless you because without you guys there is no african bella the real talk it doesn't exist so you really mean a lot to me if you're new here you are welcome also <laughs> please subscribe to this channel before you leave and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so friends if you've been watching my videos for so long you must have noticed that recently i've been doing videos about white men white men dating white men and it's because of the questions that i get every day <laughs> they are so much which has pushed me to do more videos about dating white men because a lot of women need help and if you've watched my first video on youtube <laughs> i stated that i'm here to give opinion i'm here to help i'm here to give advice as a friend as a sister i know there is a lot of ladies who don't have big sisters who don't have friends and some of them have friends but they want to listen from the other person a stranger just like me <laughs> so that's why i am doing these videos to help these women out there and that is why also i always say that if you are dating you are in a healthy relationship you are in a healthy marriage please make sure after watching every video that i do here leave a comment that will help other ladies out there who need help it means a lot to me and i always appreciate when i read your comments helping out you know adding out to the points that maybe i forgot to give so <laughs> let us start our video without wasting much of the time so today's video is a question and it goes like this i'm dating a white man <laughs> he gives me money much than my salary should i quit my job my advice number one as your best friend a best friend that wants the best for you in life <laughs> as your sister is that you shouldn't quit your job your job is your security your job makes who you are this man took you seriously because you were working as you remember in my last video if you've watched it i told you that if you're planning to date a white man you need to have something that you are doing in life <laughs> whether you are employed or you are self-employed you have a business that you are doing but you need to have something that you are doing so this man took you seriously because you are working you have something that you are doing you are responsible with your life but you quitting your job is not a good idea because it is going to give this man a message that you are irresponsible and you like easy money remember my dear friends this man is working this man is sweating to get the money that he is giving you so you wanting to relax and enjoy life <laughs> enjoy his money <laughs> isn't good it doesn't give him a good impression keep on working no matter how much money he's giving you this man is giving you money to add on what you have maybe you have a small salary that is why this man is giving you money to add on the salary that you are getting so that you can live the best life because he loves you but it's not that he is giving you money because you don't have not like that if it is otherwise then guys things might change this man might leave you just because of this so please do not quit your job keep working be responsible i repeat be responsible your job is your security whether you have this man or you don't have him you are financially free and there is nothing as beautiful as being financially free as a woman my advice number two do not quit your job because if you're planning to visit your boyfriend and maybe you will need a tourist visa i'm talking of schengen countries because they are the ones that i have 
a very good understanding on it. You need your workplace documents. They're going to ask you your work contract. They're going to ask you your salary slips. They're also going to need your bank statement. And don't tell me, Bella, this man gives me money and I deposit it to the bank. So I have money. I have good balance in my bank account. They are going to ask you, Madam, where is this money coming from? Your source of income. <laughs> you have to explain to them. <laughs> they have the right to ask you this question and you have to answer it. So if you're going to tell them that this money is coming from your boyfriend who is inviting you, you're going to kiss your tourist visa a goodbye. They're not going to give you that visa. You need to be responsible. You need to have a job so that you can travel to meet your boyfriend. If he lives in one of the Schengen countries, guys, you need your workplace documents. Without workplace documents, they're not going to give you visa. Do you know why? It's because your job is your security. Like I said, it's your responsibility. So they know if you travel to meet your boyfriend, yes, you'll stay, but you will come back because you have a responsibility that is waiting for you. But if you don't have a job, then they're going to be thinking like, ah, this girl maybe wants to escape from her country and go to Europe, which they don't want. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want people who are escaping from their countries <laughs> they don't want that so to assure them that you will come back you need to have a job you need to present your workplace documents without that mm -mm, there is no visa <laughs> my advice number three do not quit your job because this white man is just your boyfriend is just your fiance he's not your husband there is no guarantee that he's going to give you money forever and there is no guarantee that your relationship will work till you get married we are not praying that things don't work but we are praying things work as you know guys it's life things happen <laughs> this relationship might not work and this man stops giving you money everything ends there you're going to be frustrated because this white man has dumped you and you're also going to be more frustrated because you don't have a job it is easy to quit your job but finding a job is so difficult very very difficult guys if you're looking for a job you will understand me it's so hard to find a job so do not quit your job please so i want to give you an example here comes the story time and you know i always give you stories these stories are real and my intention of these stories is that you learn from these stories so there is a girl i know this girl is a black woman she met a guy in africa they started dating and this guy, because loved this lady so much, he used to give her a lot of money. This girl was employed, she had a job, and she was paid good because her salary was $500. It's good money. In Africa, you can live with that salary, very good. So her salary was good, but this white man was giving her five times her salary. The money that he was giving and this girl was like should i continue working no 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 hell no i'm going to resign so she resigned from her job in 24 hours everything was going on very good she had a lot of friends who used to call her boss lady <laughs> you know when you have money after she resigned she found out that she was pregnant and she told the boyfriend the boyfriend was so happy and that boyfriend at that time returned to his country he was a european guy everything was going very well guys they even started the process of the visa but it was a fiancé visa and as you know guys a fiancé visa needs six months up to one year to be processed and be approved 
So as she was waiting for her fiancé visa, things changed. The boyfriend started acting up strangely. They started having a lot of fights for no reason. That's what she told me. And as she was waiting for the visa, the belly was growing. And eventually, guys, this white man left her. And that day, that white man told this girl that it's over. He stopped giving her money. He seized the account. <laughs> My dear friends, this girl got frustrated. Remember, she was pregnant and she needs money more than ever. She doesn't have a job. And she was a bad spender she did not have any savings it was a very bad moment for this girl time went by she delivered her baby and this white man came but he came to take the baby a newborn he wanted to take that baby fortunately this girl managed to escape with her baby and went to another house where this man did not know the address and this guy returned to his country, but he vowed to never help this girl, never help the baby unless she gives him that baby. And as we are talking right now, this man has never helped this girl. This girl has suffered, guys. She has suffered a lot. If you're a single mom, you can understand me. She has been looking for job everywhere but sometimes she get and says like maybe three months then the job is over she is not getting a stable job like the one she had before and one time we were talking she told me that i regret quitting my job one thing that i regret doing is quitting my job i'm suffering like this because I was so stupid to quit my job. That is why I tell you, my dear sisters, as a friend, do not quit your job just because you are dating a white man and he is giving you a lot of money. Save that money in your bank account. Maybe it will help you do something else or it will help you live a good life, but it is not a guarantee that money is going to be there forever. Keep on working and love your job, no matter the salary. Keep on working, guys. <laughs> My advice number four, you shouldn't quit your job because life is full of challenges. Yes, this man might be loving you so much. That is why he's giving you money. He wants you to live a very good life. But because life is full of challenges, it's not a guarantee again that this man is going to give you money forever because on his side things might happen he might not leave you <laughs> he might not want not to give you money but due to the circumstances maybe this man has got a very big problem maybe his office went on fire maybe things happen like this pandemic a lot of people have lost their jobs and they're still looking for jobs so imagine dating a white man who has lost his job in this pandemic and you are depending on him you left your job because he was giving you a lot of money it should have been a very difficult situation for you life is full of challenges this guy might get a problem that can make him not work anymore or that can make him not work for so long how are you going to live if you don't have your job and this guy has got a lot of problems we imagine due to what has happened due to life challenges he is frustrated he has the frustration of the job he has the frustration in his business then he needs to think of the girlfriend that will be a very, very frustrating thing for him. And I think that relationship will end. But if you have your job, you are working. Yes, you might not be able to help this white man. 
I mean financially, but if you have your job, you are financially free, your mind is free, you have even a good mind to advise this man to not give up in life because you are positive, everything is going on well. But if you don't have a job, then you are frustrated, he is frustrated, that relationship will end. I can assure you this. So do not quit your job, keep on working, love your job, no matter how much money this man is giving you. So this is a bonus tip to you, my dear friends. When should you resign from your job? Or when should you quit your job? As my advice, you should quit your job when you are sure. We take an example, you are still in your country. This white man is living in another country, in another continent. So of course, you have to quit your job at some point. But quit your job when you are sure this man is your husband. You are married already and you're going to leave your country. Not that you're getting married and you'll be staying in your country, then you quit your job. No, getting married shouldn't make you resign from your job if you're living in the same country. You're going to quit your job because you're leaving the country. There is no way you're going to continue working while you're in another country. <laughs> I don't know, if your job allows you, then that's okay. You shouldn't quit. But quit when you know you're going to leave the country when you are sure that this man is your husband, then at this point, you can quit your job. And if you go to another country, what you'll do there is your business between the two of you. Whether you decide to look for a job and work or whether you decide to be a stay at home mom, that's you as a couple. But if you're still single, you are dating this white man, do not quit your job. Do not quit your job, I repeat, keep on working. Quit your job when this man has married you and you are sure you are leaving the country. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching till now. Please share this video to your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. Don't forget to comment. What do you think about this video? <laughs> like I said, if you're in a healthy relationship, please drop us a comment below about this topic. What do you advise a lady who wants to quit her job just because she is getting a lot of money from a white man? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.